Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the veterans supporting this channel. Hello everyone, today we are going to look at starting building the STAT system, foundation, one step at a time and we are going to focus on a simple setup using HP and stamina for now. So let's start by going to an opening Machinom editor. From the editor, we want to go to the status section and then we can click on the status values. Out of the box, the default setup of a new project already got us with some of the stats that came with the uh, org framework. A machinum, but in this case we are going to reuse the max XP, HP and instead of having max magical points we are convert this or change this one to max stamina so for max XP and HP we can leave those as they are for now but let's uh, change the max XP so click on edit text and let's change this max stamina click OK and the MP let's change the text to stamina and also let's change the GUID for both so this one is going to be stamina I'll keep the naming convention uppercase and max stamina here max stamina let's do it lowercase okay there we go save your settings now in order to properly use this um, stamina and HP values with our UI system we want to go to let's click on the HP for example and go to UI settings and then we have this count to value this uh, this property here this this setting here what is going to do is allows uh, the UI to accumulate multiple changes so this is what we need for example to uh, animate the bars, the health bars, or the flying text. So let's tick on this count to value. Let's change the select uh, the interpolation from linear to quadratic, in plus out, and let's change the time that is going to be required uh, for conducting this count to value to one second and a delay of 1.5 seconds and of course we need to smooth value bars so this will update the value bars uh, or, or, or make the value bars to look smoother because remember all these status are integers they are not float value they are not decimals but, but uh, to have this look and feel for the health bars and stamina bars we need float value and this is going to make that um, looks like they were floats at the end so let's save the health status we are not going to set up the flying text just now because um, to be honest I don't remember seeing flying text uh, to, pop to show damage or uh, healing recovery in this uh, sorts like games but anyways let's continue and click on stamina and from here we are already in the UI settings so we need to check count to value and let's make this one to be linear in the interpolation and in the time we want to be faster so let's put one point 0.1 seconds we can leave the delay to 0 seconds and of course check the smooth value
value bars. We are going to return to this uh, stamina settings because uh, we also want to create a, a couple of status effects to handle stamina regeneration. So let's save the changes. And in the left side, let's click on the status effect. Okay, so let's take the default status effect. This is going to be our stamina regen. And this status effect will regenerate stamina over time. Uh, we can set it uh, to hard code it or for regenerating two points of stamina over a period of time later on. This will be governed by other status effects or bonuses to increase or decrease the speed or the, the amount of stamina this uh, effect will recover. But let's start simple as always and let's change the text to stamina regen. Actually also I'm going to copy the text okay, and put it in the GUID. Remove the space. There we go, something that human readable. The next step is che uh, checking the or clicking here in the change settings section or subsection. And here we want to click on add a status value change. Status value changes, add a status value change. And the status that we want to change is the stamina we want to change uh, the when we want to change it by time we want to leave initial use and you can also always read what it means by the tooltip or in the help section so we want to change the value every 0.1 second and down below in the change value how how many uh, points we want to change and we add two points of stamina we want to use the operator add we could subtract so set or subtract but we want to add to the current value of the stamina status and then we want to set it not in percent but in value so it will use the whole number click the save to save the changes and now we want to add a second um, status effect that is going to be used to block the stamina regen for example when we uh, backstep and we roll or we get uh, special hits that uh, consume stamina uh, this second status effect blocking the stamina regen is going to be used to wait for a bit until the stamina regen kicks uh, back again. So let's uh, click on the stamina regen and select copy so we can reuse uh, one of the, some of the settings that we already have here and uh, go to the all settings section, edit text and click stamina regen block. like so. I'm going to copy the name again, click OK and in the GUID I'm going to paste and remove the spaces like so. And what we want to do here now is go to the end settings and we want to in the end settings select the end after time and in the time duration let's put one second so this is the time that the stamina regen will be blocked before starting regeneration the for the stamina okay we can leave in battle and feel everything as it is now let's go back to the change settings once again and in the status value 
Once again, we want the status value to be applied to the stamina status, but in this case, in this case, sorry, uh, we want to set the change block, so no change are allowed for positive changes. Okay, so let's save our settings. And what we want now is to create a, a schematic to call this status effect. So let's switch to or go to the schematic sections. And here the only thing that we want to do is to add a new node and select combatant. So this uh, schematic uh, will be used as the stamina status values change schematic. So that means that when the stamina value change, it will trigger this schematic. So what we need to do here is to add a node, select combatant, and then we need to change status, status effect, change status effect link the nodes and for the combatant object we can leave leave it as machine object and in the status effect change it was already added for us one of those we can click on change and select add which is already set to add but we want to the status effect to be changed the stamina region block so whenever uh, the status, oh, sorry, the, the stamina value change, the status uh, stamina change, it will trigger the addition of this status uh, block effect. So that's everything that we need to do here, and let's save the schematic. Stamina. Region block schematic and click on save. Now we can go back to the status, the status value, select the stamina, and then in the change schematic, we can add a new schematic and select our stamina region block schematic for now just let's enable this mechanic for the player and in the value change check tick on the checkbox to enable it and we want to change uh, the check type to and we want to change the check type to is less than zero and the reason for that is um, when we apply decreasing values we set it to negative points so in this case whenever we apply a negative point to the stamina it will uh, change the status and trigger this uh, region block so let's save the changes As mentioned before, we are going to continue building the status system, adding more status uh, values and effects, but uh, as always, to keep it simple, let's uh, wrap it up here, and I hope you liked the video, and thanks for supporting the channel.